Tonight, before you go to bed, make an inspection tour of your ice box. How's that Pabst Blue Ribbon Supply holding out? Tomorrow morning when your dealer says, What did you have? Say, Pabst Blue Ribbon. What else? For who? The Riddler. The No Riddler. Damn it. The No Riddler. Bow, bow. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we've been rolling. Oh, epic. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Hello Harm podcast. I'm your host, Alex Luby, and I'm joined, as always, by the Hornets of Homies to Sail of Seven Seas, Mr. Anthony Luby and Luke Farnsworth. And we are currently sticking out our guy at for the little Rizzler. No Rizzler. The Rizzler. No Rizzler. No. Why not? Nah? Because it's Narissa. Oh, I get it. Okay. <laughs> yep, I get it. Damn. Oh, I, hate, I hate a why, lot of things. Why do I? Why did I? What? I hate a lot of things. Luke, you're looking awfully safe in the workplace today. You got r slash blue shirt. <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I not allowed to wear a shirt? Is that a problem? No, it just looks like high vis. No, fine. I'll go get for the fuck. <laughs> no, hold on. I have a high vis. Let me put my high vis vest on. Hold on. You have a vest? No, I'm putting. Yeah. No, fuck you. I'm not. No, I'm not dealing with this. I don't have any high vis. No, 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 no. I'm the only one with that high. I feel, uh... Luke, don't worry. I'm unsafe in the workplace. I don't have safety glasses or... or high vis. Fucking damn asshole. Fuck you. Nice. Nice NDC. He's gonna wear the he's gonna wear the vest. No, he isn't. Yeah, he lost good. it. I couldn't find it, but I have one somewhere. I traded a guy high his vest for a beer. Why? Why? <laughs> See, because I was uh, I was over at uh, our old pal's house, and I had my trunk open. He saw my high vis vest, and he's like, "Dude, can I have that?" I was like, "Yeah, I guess." He's like, "Do you want a beer for it?" I'm like, "Sure." Okay, so he gave me a Pacifico for my high vis vest. Who's our old pal? Justin's. Oh. Actually, I think it was the other way around. He gave me that and a beer. I didn't just, give him anything. Just some dude? Yeah, he was like across the street. It was just the dude outside. Here, you want a beer and a high vis vest? I was like, Not sure. really, but. But I'll so take I, them. I, it's somewhere. I don't. I don't know where it is. It's, it was Dude, once in my closet. It's been seventy down here the last two days. That's awesome. It's not because it's gonna drop to fifty and my fucking sinuses are gonna explode. It's been fifty here. It was fifty-eight yesterday's for the high. It was a uh, forty on Thursday, and then Friday got a little warm, and then yesterday and today it was seventy. Jeez, that is nice. That'd be awesome. No, because then the weather's tomorrow is literally a high of 50. Well, that's your fault. <laughs> uh huh? Anybody's going to feel like shit when the weather changes 40 degrees one day and 20 degrees the next? Not me. No, you do. No. Everybody does. It's not like it's a I'm built different thing. It's well, just a normal thing. You're not built different. You're built like a fucking marshmallow. <laughs> he looks like a fucking Am marshmallow. A marshmallow. No, you're one of those. You know, like the colored ones that are kind of gross. The small ones. Don't even go there, dude. Hold on. The colored ones are worse than the OGs. Listen, this was a joke. Dude, 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 pause, 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 you you really didn't have to do okay that. like pause, 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 pause. <laughs> what do you mean by the regular one? regular marshmallow we're gonna leave that where it is <laughs> that's, 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 pause, let's just ignore it because i'm not taking that out of context <laughs> at all <laughs> I, i'm a jet puff I think these you're ones are Jet Puff. You're a stale no, marshmallow. You're a stale marshmallow. Andy, you're one of those fucking chalky mints people give out at weddings. I usually don't mind those. <laughs> <laughs> not, not much of an insult if you like some. Oh, jeez. I mean, yeah, I get, like they're chalky, but I like the way they crunch. <laughs> yeah, 
Just like I know most people don't like them, but I like stale marshmallows. So if you called me that, I'd be like, I like stale marshmallows. Are the marshmallows like, that come in cereal technically stale? I think. They're yeah, not, for sure. They're not even like marshmallows. Like, what are they? I mean, they? they're like no. dehydrated. It's just like yeah. sugar. It is just sugar. I love, <laughs> I love all marshmallows. I I seriously love marshmallows. I, think I still so. stand. Stale peeps are better than regular ass peeps. Good House. fresh peeps. Fuck them. I really I like, don't I love regular peeps too. I don't fuck with marshmallows too much. So, I don't so either. Peeps aren't really. I, I avoid peeps to pretty much. I don't either, but like if you take no. a bag of peeps and you open them up and just leave them sit out for a day and then eat them the next day when they're a little bit harder, they're always better. You know that does kind of make sense because when you o open a fresh peep, they're they're a little a little sticky. They are they're so sticky. hard to pull apart. They're sticky. They're icky. They're, they're gooey they're and icky. ooey. They're all they're awesome regardless. But uh, sticky is mid. icky, well, dude. No, sticky is not always icky. Sticky, sticky is always icky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sticky is always. Would icky. you like to be sticky? No, I don't want to be sticky. Right, so sticky icky. is icky. I rest my case. <laughs> 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 what was your case? I think he was trying sticky to. Sticky is not always icky. It is. It it's is. always icky because if your hands get sticky, you feel icky. Sticky okay. is always icky. You're right. All right. All right. I get it. This guy likes to be sticky. That's I don't it. like That's being icky. sticky. Let's just start calling him <laughs> Sticky Tippy. Sticky, there he is. sticky, sticky tippy. tippy, sticky tippy, sticky tippy, stick tip. This guy likes it. No, <laughs> I don't like stick tip. I don't like stick tip. I don't either. I don't. I don't like that. I don't, don't want to call that you one. that. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't. I don't really like stick tip either. <sighs> Luke, you had a pretty fun eventful weekend. You were down by by Christmas boat. No, I gotta around. hear. I got to hear about this Best Buy incident. Oh yeah, dude! I met my I met my worst enemy, a man who I actually wanted to break his kneecaps out in the parking lot. Let's named hear it. Michael. Fuck you, Michael! If you're watching this and you know exactly who you are at the Fuck Best Michael. Buy, fuck you. So, uh, taters came down because she wanted mm -hmm. to see Christmas boat. We went yesterday. It was epic. Totally chungus poggers. We got on and all that. It stopped raining actually just in time for us to get on the boat did you get the snacks there. like the boat hot chocolate and the boat sweets no they didn't have like the the um main deck mess open you mm -hmm. had to think i think you had to go down into the actual uh oh. hall itself mm -hmm. and that line was There's from you know block. the you know the back entrance on the uh starboard side yeah yes and like you go down and it's like the tunnel over right before those bathrooms on main deck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that went from there almost all the way to aft. Like Whoa. it went all the way what? aft, almost to the back of the boat. And I was, I looked at Taters. I said, I don't want to go down there. It's not worth it. She mm -hmm. said, No. <laughs> it went up. Um, but it was epic. We got to go into the admiral's quarters, which we've never done. Yeah, they just yeah, opened that. New. Yeah, it was pretty neat. Got some cool. They had pictures of uh when whiskey hit the USS Eaton, mm -hmm. DDE one five nine or something, one five one, whichever one it is, five five one. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, it really fucked her up. Yeah, yeah. Big boat will do that. And like, completely decommissioned an entire destroyer. <laughs> yeah, they they did they, they, they did it to him. But yesterday morning. I planned on taters coming down because I ordered this TV from Best Buy on Monday for uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a it's a sixty five inch OLED. You know, nice. nothing, nothing, nothing to scoff at. <laughs> um, and I can't fit that in my car, so my sister brought hers down and we fit it in her back. And got it home. Well, I woke up. And I was like, Best Buy opens at 10 a.m., so let's get there, like, sometime not too long after they open. Uh, I will actually tell you the exact time I got this email because it freaked me the fuck out. And I got kind of pissed. Da, da, da. One, one moment, please. Not eBay. Un momento. We don't, we Poor don't want eBay. <clears throat> I, like, I like eBay. I've never shopped on eBay. How can you say you don't like eBay when you've never shopped on eBay? 
Oh, I've been on eBay. Never shopped Never them. Never purchased anything. I like eBay. I don't I don't know. I don't really it's know how I feel about eBay. I like eBay. And it's not it. showing the time. But I got an email and I... Oh, wait. Is it showing? It's not. I want to say it was around like 11 in the morning. I have not left my house yet. And I got an email saying that my order was picked up. Oh. Okay. Uh, I had not been inside of that Best Buy. I had not even been out of my apartment that day. So I go in. I'm like, Tears, we got to go to Best Buy. It says they gave away my TV. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't very happy because this is like $1,600 for yeah. this TV. And I was like, I'm not going to pay $1,600 for a TV I don't own. So we get dressed. We drive over. I'm like, I got to stay calm, even though it is their fault if they gave away my TV. And I walk in. I talk to this nice lady. Her name was Bubbles. And uh, epic. And she was just like, yeah, I think the manager is like getting ready to close it out because the last day I could pick it up would have been today. Uh -huh. And because it, they only hold it for like six, seven days or something like that. Yeah. And she's like, he probably just accidentally closed it out or said that it got picked up instead of doing the other thing. So you're good. And manager came over and got all fixed. But as we were waiting for the manager, this guy comes in on the phone. And he walks up, like, right, he, like, walks and cuts me off to talk to Bubbles. And he's getting real shitty, right? He's like, and that's, dude, what do you, I tell you why he's in there? It's so fucking funny. And I get, I get why he's pissed, but it, mm -hmm. he, wrong, just anger in the wrong area. Yeah. Uh, he walks and he goes, uh, hi. And then he's like, what's your name? And she's like, it's Bubbles. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. You didn't have a name tag on. And I was like, I'm going to fucking knock this guy the fuck out. Yeah, that's really important. And he kept saying your name, like, really uh, begrudgingly. He was like, mm -hmm. all right, Bubbles. Bubbles. And I was like, I'm, I want to murder this man right here in this Best Buy. He goes, uh, yeah, you delivered and installed my dishwasher to the wrong house. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. And he said that and I had to try so hard. <laughs> because how do you do that? How do you not only deliver it, but install it in the Like the homeowner of, of the house. of that house that did not order the dishwasher is like yeah, yeah, this is the place. Yeah, it's just right right over and, here. Like there's not gonna be any repercussions for them lying about stealing an entire dishwasher. Right? <laughs> like like, there's repercussions to that. There's no reason to lie about it. <laughs> they know where they put it. So I was like, whatever. And uh, he's sitting there, and he's like, can I talk to your store manager? And she's like, well, we don't have one because they moved away. Apparently, they moved away from store managers, and they just have, like, district managers or whatever. So there's one guy that runs three of the best buys around here. Oh, that's dumb, like, but okay. It's like, well, we don't technically have a store manager, but I can get you the highest manager. And he's like, well, I'm on the phone with corporate, and they say you do. And I was like, I'm just sitting there. I stared at that guy. I was like, dude, you need to calm the fuck down. And then uh, she's like, well, I'll get the highest manager over here, and he can talk to you about it. And he's like, good, or something like that. And he walks away, and she's like, Jesus. He goes, I'm sorry, did you just use the Lord's name in vain, Bubbles? Oh, no, he no, didn't. I swear to God. And she didn't hear him. She went like, I'm sorry? And he goes, yeah, you should be. And I was like, oh, dude, I'm going to bash your kneecaps in so hard. Michael, 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 calm down. So he's sitting there, and then he's like standing just a little too close to Taters and I. So I, I stared at him. I didn't stop looking at him since the moment he started being a dick. I stared at him the whole time. I gave him the death stare, probably one of the worst stares I've given a man. He noticed and actually like took enough steps away to put like four people between him and Taters. I was like, don't you come near anywhere near me. I will fucking kill you. And then he's like, pissed about the TV. He's pissed about well, the dishwasher. I was calm down Bubbles once they explained. The in once they explained, I was calm. And then he came in and said, as soon as he said, did you just yeah. use the norms like Lord's name in vain? I almost lost her. And then in there, I said, I should have said, your Lord's never done anything for me as a gay man and see what he did. Just to, like <laughs> give him a heart attack right there. Or like, yeah, that's you're the reason why my wife had an abortion. We were afraid of having a kid like you, and just seeing what he did. Like, abortion. Bow, 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 bow. This guy doesn't bow. He's not a fucking ruffian. 
No. no he's a, he's but a bluffer. He took the steps away and then like both was like fuck you know whatever like under her breath and i straight up like i'm way too loud i probably should now i was like that guy's kind of a dickhead isn't he <laughs> this guy's kind of being a dick i was like damn this guy's kind of a dickhead <laughs> and i think he gave me a side eye and i was like dude i will mess you the fuck up and then uh i went outside we pulled the car up and i sat there and i said if michael comes the fuck out here i want you to pull your tire iron out and i'm bashing his kneecaps in right here in this best buy parking lot did he like say his name to bubbles oh like, he hey, said I'm michael michael. yeah he said michael and now that I, I know his name so i know who he is i know who you are michael i Ma fucking know michael doesn't have a dishwasher how, how do you resolve that issue I don't know. Like I you, don't. You, and like, you can what, still give an, the dish guy a dishwasher. Like, yeah, that's the store's fault. Clearly, he deserves a dishwasher. No. Either so way. the thing is, is that it's actually there's nothing the store can technically do, because it's not the store. It's whatever service they use to bring and install. It's like a separate entire entity. Oh. Because that's what I heard overheard them saying. They were like. There's like nothing we can do for this guy. I feel <laughs> like the the installers would have to reimburse Best They're gonna Buy. have to do something. Yeah. And I don't know. The all I know is that there's some guy that straight up stole a whole entire fucking dishwasher. <laughs> not not <laughs> only stole one, but had it installed. He stole it and said, Oh, could you install this yeah. while you're here? <laughs> like, so yeah, yeah, no problem, buddy. Funny. I've never heard of that before. I I had to try not to laugh because it was so fucking funny. Yeah, you guys delivered and installed a dishwasher to the wrong house. Like I I agree. I can see why Michael was so mad. Like I would just be in disbelief. But the difference is is that there's a certain level of being educated that any human should have to understand you're mad. You need to calm down when interacting mm -hmm. with other people because they won't want to deal with you if you piss yeah. them off. Especially those people who had nothing to do with it being installed at the wrong fucking house. Exactly. I went in and I probably, you know, I was like, hey, I this says I got my TV fucking picked up and I wasn't here. And I, you know, I felt like I gave her a little bit too much attitude. But at the same time, I wasn't trying to. I was just mm -hmm. pissed in general. So I felt bad. But then as soon as she said, I was like, I'm trying. I'm just going to calm out. Let it go. And I felt bad. But I mean, so like, did they, there's, just there's give you a, did they just give you a TV? Like uh, They gave me the, the TV that I ordered. Oh, so it, it was, was just, like the... the it, they didn't... Yeah, he marked it wrong. Okay. It, it was just an accident. And yeah. I was like, that's fine. I'm not... I'm not, like, upset about it being an accident. Mm -hmm. As long as it... As long as I'm not paying for someone else to have my fucking TV, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or as long as you got your TV in general. Like, and you if they would have, have pay for it. If they would have just canceled it, I wouldn't have even been mad at that. Mm -hmm. I'd have been like, whatever, dude. I, <laughs> I just don't want to pay for someone else to own a TV. Yeah, I wouldn't either. That's that's funny. I, I've never heard of that happening. Before. I was just like, how the fuck do you deliver <laughs> and install the dishwasher in the entire wrong house? I was like and half expecting. Just let it happen. I was like half expecting the issue he was in there to be like, oh my my printer's acting weird. You sold me a faulty printer. Something stupid and dumb as yeah. fuck. No, I mean, it it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody <laughs> delivered and installed a whole installation process that is not an easy task for a dishwasher into the wrong house. And like the whole problem I have, is there not a something set there to double check that you're at the right location? Right, like they were here to install it. Like that homeowner, they they kind of deserve an award. For the way they, they played got that off. Award. They got a dishwasher. <laughs> like, That's their reward. If someone yeah. showed up to my house like, hey, we're here to install the dishwasher, I'd be like, the fuck are you talking about? What dishwasher? Right. Like, I, I would say no. Like, yeah, it's a free dishwasher. But like, I'd be like, uh, yeah, the fact no, that... No, it's not mine. I, I, I just, I don't know. Like, there's no way that that actually happened. There has to be like something, someone just pushed through the notification or something fucking stupid without doing it. I had a time know, preemptively. Man. The world is a funny place. But how do you, okay, like you just <laughs> said, how do you open the door, two men say, we're here to install a dishwasher, and it's, your first words out of your mouth are not, 
what dishwasher? Like, like maybe people like, are people are people are shitty. Maybe yeah, it was but, like, they're someone. So <laughs> maybe it was someone like maybe they're on a route and they were just doing a few that day, and they maybe skipped over this guy's. I don't know. Like that's hard to do. That's that's a big fuck. It's hard. It is hard there's, to do. There's so many factors that I'm like. There's no way they actually installed it in the wrong house. Like there's know, something. Man. Like something went. I different. want to believe. <laughs> I want to believe someone in Virginia has a free dishwasher installed, and Michael was foaming at the mouth at the thought of his dishwasher being installed. And imagine in like else's house. they come back like, "Hey, we we goofed. We put in the wrong dishwasher." Right. And the homeowner's what do you like, do? "Be like, no." Uh, the homeowner's <laughs> like, well, you didn't install a dishwasher. I never ordered one. I'm not. They could just there's... say, I'm not going to let you in my yeah, house, like... and there's nothing yeah. they can do. Like, <laughs> can we come look at it? Have... No. This no, is my house. out of my house. This is my and dishwasher. there's no evidence of them ordering the dishwasher. <laughs> is that the but box the over there? Not... But like, they I just got the... a new dishwasher. <laughs> you have the evidence of them dropping it off, though. Like, there's GPS somewhere that says they were there. No, the data's wrong. I didn't Until someone calls the police and they search the house and find a dishwasher installed because that's blatantly stealing. And that's a higher level of theft than petty because the dishwasher like, is not cheap. That's the only evidence they have is the fact that a car GPS signal went there. Like other, They have no purchase history. They have no like knowledge of them Nobody, stealing anything. Okay, but hold on. You don't have any purchase history if you steal something, Tip. Yes. That's how stealing okay, yeah, that's, works. Okay, yeah, that's true. But like, <laughs> I don't, I don't think they could really do anything. If you say, "Hey, someone stole my fucking dishwasher," which is what, probably two thousand dollars or something. That's what is the average dishwasher price? I don't, I don't know. know. I, I wonder what what really is considered. Looked. What is considered? Well, is it like if someone? Uh, let's see how much they are at Best Buy a dishwasher. So like, what are they rocking? Like five hundred to a thousand. Is it five hundred to a thousand? I mean, there's one for five forty nine. There's also one for thirteen hundred. Depending on which one he got, it's between petite larceny and grand larceny. <laughs> Someone got a free dishwasher. The police will definitely do something about larceny in general. What ha like about say my motorcycle? So that's fake. Well, they don't care about you. Of course they don't. You didn't have full coverage. So they don't give a shit. Yeah, the, the we're not talking. Who has full coverage on a dishwasher? <laughs> we're talking theft of an, an item that costed money and the police instigating it. Yeah, they didn't instigate. They didn't instigate it. my motorcycle. That they're in going to instigate some guy's motherfucking dishwasher. Alex, I think they have. They know. You mean investigate? You're using or instigate whatever. wrong. Instigate. Oh, but well. they also know where the fucking dishwasher is they had no clue where the fuck your motorcycle went can they even they like care. press they charges like care. say the police roll up and they're like hey we know you have the dishwasher <laughs> and they're like oh yeah man that was weird they just showed up oh jeez, yeah i got yeah i actually got rid of it last week i didn't want it like can they can they be charged I, I think it's at least a fine. Larceny is like a pretty hefty fine, depending on which kind it is. <laughs> but d did they get? So are they being charged? Not that it was delivered there, but that they willingly had it installed. That it wasn't Probably, their yeah. dishwasher. Yeah, they yeah. willingly said, "Hey, put this dishwasher yeah, in my fucking house, right and there. I'm not going to tell you it's not mine." And I'm just going to take it for free. Yeah, they'll probably <laughs> give them something. You know what would be goofy? Um, say like, say a kid like 16 or 15 opens the door and the parents aren't home. And he just agrees to it because he thinks, oh yeah, maybe my parents bought a dishwasher. The people like, what, that delivered are getting fired. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like what I in that case? The rabbit hole I'm deepens. Sure, I'm pretty sure yeah. someone has to sign off on that shit. Oh, they have to. They have to. So like if that if the kid signed off, there's no way that's a legal valid signature, which means that they at, didn't do their least, job properly. At least sign off on the drop off, because I know when I worked as an electrician, we would install dishwashers. But I think there are like things where they install and drop off. There definitely are. 
Yeah. It's probably like a built-in package deal. Yeah. I don't know, man. There's just so many layers to this guy stealing this dude's entire fucking dishwasher right. and him he going didn't even, in and talking about the Lord's name. <laughs> didn't even have to lift a finger to steal a dishwasher. No, dude. No. The Lord that, brought it to his front door. The easiest. Yeah. I, oh, that's what I should have said. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. No. The Lord brought it to his front door. Not you yours, just use the Lord's name in vain. The Lord brought your dishwasher to the wrong place. I think you need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> it was God's plan. God planned Bro, this. That guy needed the dishwasher a lot more than you did. Yeah. You Be wouldn't thankful. understand. Be thankful that you could even afford that dishwasher. That, you yeah. jackass. That you could help someone wash their dishes. Yeah, you did the ultimate Christmas. Treat Asshole. others as you want to be treated. The golden rule, motherfucker. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yourself. you. <laughs> Fuck you, Michael. Fuck you, Michael. The golden rule, bitch. Outs to all my Michaels out there. I getting mad over dishwashers. I had an interesting... He, uh. That's that's really funny, Luke. That, I hope he drowns over that Christmas. That was really funny. In, in his dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> anyway, I said I oh, had uh, an interesting weekend trying to purchase things as, as well. So, um, you know, my parents love Bigfoot. Yeah, they yeah. they. My dad is like Bigfoot tickets go on sale for the conference at Salt Fork Saturday at noon. I'm like, okay. He's like, here's my credit card, and you buy two for one for me and your mom. I'm like, yeah, no big deal. I'm waiting there. It's eleven fifty five. I'm on the thing, and then. <laughs> noon rolls around and i go to the website and it's it's broken the website does not work I wait around for a little longer website still doesn't work so i'm checking constantly refreshing checking like the facebook page for updates the bigfoot people are getting a little pissed off They're throwing in the comments like i've been waiting here for 20 minutes i want my bigfoot tickets and eventually they make an update they're like hey the domain name is giving us a hard time it's going to change to 2 o'clock today. So we I had to chill out for another two hours. 2 o'clock rolls around. I'm waiting. And it doesn't fucking work. It's still broken. And people are losing their minds in the comments on these, these Bigfoot posts. And then they make another announcement like, it's really, it's fucked. They're going to go on sale tomorrow, which is today, at noon. I'm like, okay. So I let parents know i'm like yeah they botched it they dropped the ball websites busted can't go see bigfoot yet have to wait till tomorrow so today uh 11 55 rolls around i'm waiting again i go to the website beforehand it it looks com uh completely different they updated it i'm like okay this this should work noon rolls around i i click the get tickets button and it does not work it's still fucking busted. And then, so we, I was waiting, refreshing, checking comments for 40 minutes. And then I, I went, they had like an event tap at the bottom. I went to that and I, I signed up, but I, I couldn't pay. There was no way to pay. And the, uh, the Bigfoot post comments were getting rambunctious. They were getting really angry. It was like, 111 115 comments i was updating it like Jeez. every two minutes people were just getting pretty feisty so then because i was expecting an update and one never came like in those 40 minutes to an hour and i was like that's kind of shitty and then one finally came and i checked it and it said uh if you got because what i did i did it like the roundabout way i went to the event tab I reserved two spots, and you're supposed to pay there, but I did not. And then I got the email. It says, like, hey, we got it. You're good to go. They said anyone who got that email, they'll honor it, but anyone who did not, better luck next time because the, the wow. button didn't fucking work. <laughs> so a lot of people There's got... be a lot of angry... Uh, they got cucked out of their Bigfoot watchians. tickets. Yeah. They're going to, like... Uh, <laughs> I got on the Facebook post. It's the Ohio <laughs> Ohio Bigfoot so. Conference 2024. Yeah, it's a uh, postponed till next Saturday at 12 noon EST. A whole and, week. And, and in it, it even says like VIPs will be honored, blah, blah, whatever. 
And I scrolled down, this guy goes, and for those of us who got confirmation emails on our bookings, will those be honored? And they've responded, and it just said, will be honored, read the post. <laughs> <Yeah>. Bigfoot <laughs> was getting sassy. Will those be honored, Bubbles? <laughs> I waited. If Michael's in the comment section. I'll, I will fucking log into my Facebook, <laughs> and I will tell him I hope he hangs tonight. You know, this weekend's just been terrible. First, my dishwasher gets installed in the wrong house, and now I can't go see Big Feet. This is would, fucking ridiculous. I would, Michael tell, out. I would tell him it's all part of God's plan for him. <laughs> Michael out. Seems like the guy to do that. Big Mike. Do you think there's that many people that they like overloaded the website, and that's what caused it? No, I think because I, I I went to the website like first, and you know how it says 2024 now, or if you go to it. Before, it, it looked fucking horrible, and it still said 2023. So I think the dev was fucking rushing to get this done like 20 minutes before, and he botched it. And then, because I went to uh, the inspect, and I was looking at the button to check what the link was. And like, when you do a button, it'll say like button, you'll put some other parameters in. href is like the link it goes to. Mm -hmm. the the href was hashtag services so they didn't put a fucking link in so the button was never going to work unless they fucking change that <laughs> and I'm curious if it's still <laughs> fucked up <laughs> this is a scuffed weekend oh well, yeah I guess I, I killed I killed like three hours waiting for Bigfoot tickets and you never got them I don't know never I got, got the confirmation I'm, I should make an angry comment and say they will be will these will be, be honored, honored. and then the they post. will tell you to read the fucking post because yeah, you're an uneducated post. shit bag they can't read yeah just read the post i hope i just hope michael has the worst time of his life for the next three weeks and then he can't take it anymore <laughs> and gives up god's plan <laughs> rip michael in his dishwasher <laughs> trying to think of anything happened to me this weekend i don't nothing nothing like michael and bigfoot I got outside and I looked at Tears and I said, I wonder if he realizes St. Peter will not judge kindly upon his soul at the pearly gates of heaven. <laughs> uh, you guys want to do anime of the week? Hit it. Uh, well, we're not doing it. Well, yeah, you do, do it. you want to be a part of the fun? No. No. Okay. Then you're going to miss out on the fun. What's the fun? <laughs> oh, you'll see. What the fun uh, is up, dude? Uh, my... Uh, anime of the week is Rosaria to Vampire. And I'm just going to give a quick synopsis here because it's pretty cut and dry. So our main man, Skune, is in the, it's called the human world. We'll just use that for now. You'll understand later. He's in the human world. He just graduated uh, elementary school or middle school or whatever. And he's about to start his first year at high school. And... He doesn't get good grades on his uh, entrance exams, so he has to go to a different school than all his buddies called Yokai Academy. And he, it's first day, he hops on the bus to Yokai Academy. Bus driver's pretty epic pogger, scary looking dude. He goes through this tunnel, and he ends up in this creep, creepy looking area. And gets off, the bus driver asks him one final time. He's like, hey, are you sure you want to go to school here, kid? And Skune says yeah he's excited for high school so he gets off everything's creepy looking almost looks like halloween all the time and he runs in to this one girl akashia mocha with pink hair and a crucifix around her neck uh they become friends through that and then basically it's like kind of normal school life sort of if that's what you want to call it uh everybody at yokai academy is a monster and they hate humans and humans are not allowed at Yokai Academy. So Skune has to fool everyone into thinking he's not a human. And with the help of Akashi Yamoka, they do that. Um, interesting characters are brought along throughout the series. Like Kurumu, she's a succubus. Uh, Mizore is a, like, snow... What's that? What's that one called? A snow lady? Bunny. No. Uh, Yuki Ona. Yuki Ona. And then there is the Meg the Megumin before Megumin was Megumin. Yukari. Yeah. She's like a witch. Do you like explosions? 
Uh, no, she likes <clears throat> pans, and she likes to drop pans on people. Okay. Like big yellow pans. <laughs> well, uh, what do you? <laughs> like big, Maybe like big, big, big pans. That. <laughs> that's that's what she does, man. <laughs> and the four of them are pretty much like really good friends. And there's other characters like Ruby, and every time she's introduced, she says Ruby? it's a long story. Her name is Ruby. Yeah. But it's pretty much their life at Yokai Academy. Different things happen, different scenarios. And it's just a really overall, really fun show to watch. Like, when I first started, I was like, okay, this is cool. But the more I watched it, I was like, this is really fun. Like, I'm having a good time watching it. And there's some really genuinely funny scenes. Uh, it's extremely lewd. Like, I think it's up there with one of the most lewd shows people talk about. There's two seasons. Uh, I think 13 episodes each, I want to say, aired in 2008. And the second season is pretty much every episode is different. It's just kind of like daily. It's like a slice of life just with monsters and shit mm -hmm. like that. But it's a really, really funny show, actually. I really enjoyed it. Rosaria, Toe Vampire. Isn't Mega this the fun. show with like a, a panty shot every five seconds? Yeah, every five literally frames. Every, every fucking five seconds. Everywhere they can throw one in, they throw one in. I was uh I was gonna watch this a few months ago, but it's only in English on Crunchyroll for whatever reason. It's I was watching it subbed on uh subbed on Crunchyroll. Are you serious? When I went to watch yeah. it a few months ago, it literally was only in English. It didn't have an option for Japanese. I wonder if they subs. changed it. It might have, which that makes me a little bit happier. That's why I've yeah. been like more avoiding it, is because I'm like I know I don't you mentioned it not too long ago. Yeah, because I, I was really going to watch it, and it yeah. was only in English. There was no ch there was no option to change the language. I was like, I don't want to watch this. In yeah, it's on Crunchyroll now for subbed. You can watch it all. Stupid it's really fun, English. honest. I really, really liked it. And there's this bat, and he says chew all the time. <laughs> chew. Yeah, Isn't and like the, the some of the scenes noise? between like, yeah, he goes like not that you. Oh, he's like, like that. The like a... He's like the narrator. <clears throat> And like there's scenes between like Akashi, uh, uh, Mocha, and Skune where they just literally they just look at each other and say their names like six times, Moko. and then she bites him. Moko, 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 It's a really fun show though. I really liked it. A lot of fun for that one. How many frying pans out of 10 do you give Ooh, it? Ooh, that's a good one. How many big yellow frying pans out of 10 do you <laughs> give it? How many 10 do you give it? Um, How many big yellow frying pans do you drop on people out of 10? I'm going to drop like seven and a half big frying pans. Only for the fact that there's not really a great story or plot to it. It's just homeboy goes to Monster Academy and that's life. For how long it was, I guess. Like, I feel like, but I feel like it'd be hard to put a block. But I'll go seven and a half frying pans out of ten. All right, now to break the the fourth wall of our rating scale, how do you get half a frying pan? Of a, a, a sawzall. Did, wait, is she carrying around a sawzall when she drops the frying pan? I feel like she would want to drop full frying pans. She, yeah, she does. I've never seen her drop a half. <laughs> Maybe you have to round uh, to a whole number. Just, just, just out of I mean, curiosity. You don't have to. I'm keeping a seven and a half because that's your rating. It's not like I mean, they're monsters. I just want to know out of out of the curiosity of our rating scales. How does that to break our fourth wall? I mean, they're how monsters. Does that like they could, she could probably summon half a frying pan. You think that's how it would do? She just decided to summon half a frying pan. I think. Do you think it would like work like that, or do you think it would just be a smaller frying pan? That's half the size. Like half the weight. But I, then would that be half <laughs> a frying pan? That's still a whole frying pan. I, th <laughs> I think she would just cut it in half down the center. Well, she can't. Well, why couldn't she? She can summon a whole frying pan. Could she summon a sawzall? And she can summon. She can su No, she can't summon a sawzall. <laughs> <laughs> She's a witch. Hi, are you sure? Did you ever see her summon one? No. I've never. Right, I've also right. never seen a witch summon a frying or, pan. Shredding or sawzall. Right. We don't yeah, know if you I've... can summon one if you can't summon one. I mean, if she can summon a frying pan, I feel like she could summon a sawzall. I'm just... <laughs> Is that like a spell you have to learn? The sawzall spell. Yeah, like free range collects old... spells as her hobby. Where she comes across the yeah. sawzall. I'm sure there's spell. one that. I'm sure there's one that does it. I mean, wasn't there one that like makes your feet not stink or something like that? <laughs> yeah. Like if if there's one that makes your feet not stink, I'm sure there's one that summons sawzall. 
Well, there are two witches in this show, and none of them summon Sawzalls, but none of them mention Sawzalls. <laughs> So we don't know if they can or cannot summon a Sawzall. That's, that's right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I've not heard one mention of them not being able to summon a Sawzall. Yeah. It's just that they don't. Do you think a... Yeah, a Sawzall could probably cut through a pan if you put a metal plate in it. You know, a yeah. Sawzall can cut Easy. through, like, anything. I would yeah. use them to cut metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cast iron would be tough, but you'd probably go through a couple blades for cast iron. But... Yeah. Oh, yeah. You could but, do I mean, it. I'm sure, dude. Sawzalls would, like, cut through any fucking yeah, surface are you wild. want. Yeah. They're crazy. They're fucking Brazy. awesome. They're, they are awesome. I love they're salt balls. Just, <laughs> it's it's a big gat in, in <laughs> salt form. They're sweet. I mean, if Sawzalls can like put holes in concrete, I'm pretty sure it can cut through a metal pan. Yeah. I like the, uh, it's called a multi-tool. It's like this big kind of, it's like a, you hold it like this and there's a blade on the end and it just vibrates real fast and you can like be really precise with it. Oh, yeah. Fucking love those things. They're, they're awesome. I've never used one of those. I've used plenty of souls. There's we well, have one in the we have one in the toolbox downstairs. We'll have to get it out. And just cut I, things. I don't know, man. It sounds <clears throat> sound like we need to make a trip to Home Depot. Yeah, it sounds like yeah. we just gotta build some shit. Yeah. yeah, we should just build some. I kinda just want to build something just <laughs> to say I did. I do too. The weekend just spend build. The day. Is just that just a something. guy thing? Like you just kinda wanna build something? Bro, one I just time? kinda wanna just build like, something. No, like no blueprints and just be like, all right, guys, today we're gonna build this. I and have an idea. Map it. it out in your head. This is what I want to go with, and we're just gonna guesstimate what the size of it that we want, yeah. and we're just gonna see how it works. Let's do it one day. I want to build. Yeah. The problem is lumber costs. Yeah, lumber prices are pretty high. Lumber prices are so so is wire. And the idea Holy of us wasting fuck. a whole lot of money on some fucking lumber that turned oh, into a mess. Bro, we could fucking wire it too. We could wire it. Well, we what could, are, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! What are we making before we start? Wiring? I don't know. If we're making a if we're making a picnic table. What wires are we putting? We on could like picnic? install could underneath lights, like LEDs. You, could, yeah, you don't you need could, wires. No, we for, you need lights. Not for well, it depends what kind of lights you're running. Why are we running lights that aren't pre-made? Then we're just working harder, not smarter. Well, no, because then we get to work with wires this and batteries. DIY. Yeah, we could we could put a switch on them, but we could wire it into the house. Okay, but here's the yeah. here's the other problem. If one of the lights is no good, then we have to deal with that. That's easy. I know how to do that. That's not the problem. The problem is that we then have to deal with it. That's fine. We can oh. just pick up some new bulbs. We can just put can lights on them. Can light picnic. <laughs> you know, we could do a glass top and put can lights underneath. Where are we going to get the glass? <laughs> that is way more expensive <laughs> than anything else. You know what's going to be hard? Cutting holes in the glass. That is not going to be really easy. We wouldn't no, put we cut don't. holes in the glass. How would we put the can lights then? They'd go underneath. Right. It doesn't but work that way, that Anthony. No, that's not how no it okay. Works. The can lights would be facing up. They don't go into it. Like the can lights go up. So you're telling there's the glass you panel have... and the lights go okay, up oh, against so the on, glass panel. You're saying that we have like a wood surface, we put the can lights in, and then we put a glass panel on top of all of it? Yeah, you've seen those goofy uh uh tables that people make. So then how are we keeping the glass table in place? Oh, we're gonna have to do you put brackets or something. Oh, like those suction cups. We could use those suction cups. Suction Wait, cups. What, 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 hold on, back to what Tiff is. Where are we gonna fucking put the brackets into it? I don't know. Well, they mount into it's the wood. It's glass. And they yeah, they hold it per corner. Mounts. We right. put mounts. We'll just use C clamps and just <laughs> <laughs> like really tight so it starts to crack really? the glass. We could just go to Home Depot and get everything there. They'll have everything. They're not going to have a fucking sheet of glass that we can I don't just. Think, yeah, I don't think they really sell glass there, do they? Well, we they could. Don't. We could really DIY. We could buy a window and just table. take the frame off, right? Yeah. We could do that. <laughs> the window's not going to be big enough. Well, we'll have to make the table according what if we bought, to the what window if we size. We bought a picnic table with a glass top. <laughs> We took just the glass, off the glass top. Off. we copied the dimensions of our table that we built. <laughs> we built the exact same table, but we put except a hole wood. in it to put can lights in it. Yeah, except <laughs> face wood. up. Have wires that just dangle precariously underneath it and hit your knees while you're sitting there. The best part is like the glass wouldn't be frosted, so it would be bright as fuck in your face. We could put an outlet. <laughs> An outlet wouldn't solve the blinding light that's shooting up from the table. Yeah, but we could charge our phones. <laughs> Actually, I'd like the idea of putting an outlet onto it. 
Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. It's not a bad cool. idea. It's the all-in-one yeah, picnic easy table. easy to do. But then again, the only downside, how do you get the wire to go from a source of power to the outlet without it looking like dog shit? We'll run that's it underground. Easy. Yeah, we could run it underground. We have to rip up your fucking yard. Oh, yeah, actually, I found... Has to happen. No, on right. Amazon, oh. they sell, um, like, bulldozers. You know, like, the... Uh, the kind you excavators. sit in. The, yeah, they sell excavators. They sell excavators. We can pick up an excavator from Amazon. <laughs> they're only I'm like, sure they're on Prime. They're like 13000 We can just rent it for like a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, Luke's right. Really yeah, but it. these... Just rent one of them. These ones from Amazon. Imagine owning <laughs> an excavator with a snowplow attachment. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to get at. How happy will your parents be? <laughs> Dude, they'd be so they fucking your entire yard. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, we're just installing a picnic table. <laughs> Guys, what if we installed the picnic table at the wrong house? <laughs> what are you doing in my yard and who are you? This isn't the house with the picnic table. <laughs> Whatsoever, and it's just just true. What are you doing? So you don't want the picnic table? Or... No, I don't. All right, we just leave in his yard. Are you sure we're almost done? It's like a half-finished picnic table with like two legs on it. Leave all the materials, everything in the yard. <laughs> Are you sure we're almost done? There's absolutely nothing there. This yard is just destroyed. There's no, there's no picnic table in sight. It is just a destroyed yard. And we're just like, oh, dude, are you sure we're almost done with it? Get the fuck out before I call the police. Whatever you say, buddy. All right. All right fine, just we'll know leave. your yard's gonna look like this and not have a picnic table in it. And just... Imagine being able to. Get off my fucking lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Go next door. <laughs> <laughs> Go next door. <laughs> what are you doing in my yard? Are you the ones over this picnic table? No! You're just as mean as the guy over there. What the fuck's your problem? <laughs> oh, hold on, let's just dig a hole just to make sure you're not the one who actually yeah, did like order. Water line. Oh fuck, we gotta go guys. <laughs> it floods both yards. <laughs> Even worse, it's the sewage line, so it's just shit all over both Damn. Both, both yards are covered in feces and urine <laughs> and other sorts of excrement. <laughs> So you're really sure you don't want this picnic table? Yeah. And they're just like, get yeah. the fuck away from my house. I'm pretty sure it has an outlet on it. Can you charge your phone? You could charge your phone. You could, you could, you could charge your phone. Uh, it's got, there's a glass and can lights. Or just like, get there, knock on the door and be like, Hey, so about this picnic table installation, we're gonna need to run some wire into the the panel. Can you let me inside so we can get into the panel? Can I get to your circuit breaker? We need to add another circuit to it. They're like, well, who are you? You add just walk in, ignore them, <laughs> open the panel. <laughs> you start taking off like their fuses they're actively using. Like, uh, what's this one? Is this your kitchen? Yeah, you don't yeah, need you that. Don't need that shit. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. <laughs> just, like, take it out. You're like throwing the fuses everywhere. They're just like, stop. Hey, we- we're gonna run a we're gonna run a fifty amp breaker outside. We're gonna have to get rid of a couple circuits right now. Uh, your oh, kitchen and bath, you probably don't need that. Fifty amp breaker <laughs> for an outlet. An outlet <laughs> and can, two lines. We can we bolt it to a tree outside, just like just duct tape it on there. <laughs> 
Hey, we just we just want to make sure we have enough power. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to add like another another outlet, you know, in the future, you can do that. <laughs> if you need another outlet, you have you have plenty of you have plenty of amps to go around with this fifty amp breaker. Oh God! <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's you know, good. You, I need. You know, laugh. with a with a fifty amp breaker, we could add a second outlet to this thing. You guys yes. could charge four phones. <laughs> at once. Should, shouldn't we have two outlets on in the first place? Because you're not going to sit with just two people that would need to charge their phones at a table at a time. There's times yeah. where you'd have like a family of four would sit at a picnic table. What if all four of them need to charge their phones? That's true. We could do four. We need Everyone all... simultaneously has to charge their phones. <laughs> It bonks down the fucking breaker. The lights start dimming. <laughs> it trips it. Yeah, Got to reset the breaker around the picnic table. Every time they go inside, they have to reset but, it. But we've linked that breaker to the rest of them. So when it trips that one, it trips the whole house. Oh, fuck. It's, con it's connected to the main breaker. So it trips the whole fucking house. Oh. Their, entire, their entire house fucking turns off. And then catches on fire. Because... <laughs> and we leave. Four people <laughs> we leave. Their yard's covered in shit. It's torn up. There's no grass left. There's a picnic table in the house on fire. That'd be good. With, oh. with a 50 amp breaker that's been electrical taped into the rest of the house. Hey, neighbor, nice table. <laughs> Sorry about your house. That's a shame. It's a good table, though. You mind if I take it? Sure. I know some guys I can install <laughs> it for you. <laughs> I'm really glad that dishwasher got installed in the wrong house. That made for some. I am too. That's just awesome. Funny. Oh my god. How? Like how? I just how? Bow 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 bow. 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 What's our time? 51. Oh, it's only time, 51. Time for you to get a watch. Yeah. Doesn't need a watch. Bitch. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Oh. I know, is there any anime news? Like, I haven't seen shit this week. Uh. Uh. uh this just in Luke likes 100 girlfriends who really, 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 really love you. I need to watch the uh, new episode. Take, mm -hmm. I watched it before she left. Oh. We get a new, new girl. No, no, it's all just, it's just the new. five of them. Oh, I, I see. Get... I'm looking at character art for a new character. Uh, is it pink hair and looks like Hakati? Because uh, it's probably her. <laughs> it it's her mom and she's a fucking cunt. Oh, is she? Oh, really? Yeah, her mom is super cunty. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, she sucks real bad. There's some drama this episode. It goes oh, down shit. a little uh -oh. bit. And her mom sucks that. bad. Her mom sucks so bad. Oh man! Does she Kate? Does she say she can't date the dude with five girlfriends? Yeah, and then she says, "If you try to talk back to me, I will use my money to make sure you never see him again, and he is never seen in this town again." And she's like, oh, "Don't do that, please." Whoa. So more or less, she literally threatens to get rid of main guy. Rip main Bitch guy. Mom. We like him. He's awesome. And so main guy comes over and he's like, can I just talk to you? And she says, no. And then doesn't talk to him. <laughs> she sucks really bad. Damn. That's one thing I didn't expect from the show is any form of like sad drama. Because it's stupid. Yeah, it's yeah. just goofy. It's just goofy. But like we are, we're at our second one already then. You know, say Freerun, uh, this is probably my favorite show of the season. <laughs> Free run. I put free run first, but like if free run didn't exist, it would probably be 100 girlfriends. For me, it's either 100 girlfriends or vexations of a vampire shot in. Did you guys notice there wasn't an episode this week? Of vexations? Yeah. What? Wait, the. Oh, that's right. The last one we watched was um last weekend where she fought Homeboy and went bonkers. Yeah, she the went shit bonkers went mode. And then what's her name with the white hair and big titties? apologize to everyone that she fucking murdered yeah yeah Sorry yeah there's not a new me. episode damn that's I, that's that's mm, that and 100 that girlfriends sucks. are definitely my two second favorites damn 
I think I do 100 girlfriends of them vexations just because I don't know, dude. 100 girlfriends, I just it's enjoy funny too as much. Fuck. It's, it's so, so fucking funny. It's awesome. Yeah, there's there's not really a thing wrong with it. I love it. Whereas, you know, vexations has its moments where I'm kind of like, eh, this is a little silly. I but more. I'm more like it because the story's good. Yeah, I like the story, the characters, the funny dolphin. Funny dolphin. I the... wish I was the dolphin. Funny like dolphin. dolphin. God, I wish I was the fucking dolphin. That was a simultaneous you know, Luke, Buta Reba. Buta Reba is... I like Buta Reba, dude. <laughs> I do, too. The Pig is great comic relief because is. this is a dark story. Is it really? And, uh, yeah. It's and our, yeah, it's awesome. Our main girl is fucking based. Yeah. She's super cool, super awesome. Yeah, yeah, last week's episode, I was like, holy fuck, what the yeah, hell? I, you know what? I don't know what the fuck is with that bird standing out following him for like the I, past three episodes. Not an idea. I haven't watched this week's episode from yesterday. I haven't but either. I was like... He's just, he was just watching him for three episodes. <laughs> you see his fucking stupid head. I did I watch like Tear Moon Empire, though. I, I fucking love that show. That was I, fun. I love that show so that, goddamn that much. Is, uh, that's a hidden gem for this season, honestly. Yeah, I, I, I don't know anything about it. It's it's awesome. Let me look up. Uh, all you pictures. need to know is there's a guillotine, and she's trying not to get schwacked by it. Again. For a second time. Yeah. And she's poggers. Mega poggers. He's pretty much the Ein's Odegones. Of the Tear Moon Empire. Like, literally. So and, she and just kills people? Not, not no. like, she just literally. just fucking it's... slaughters people? No, no not I like brought that. this up with uh, Tippy. It's, yeah. She does the thing where she says something, and it gets misconstrued in a better way oh, than okay. it's supposed to be. Yeah. Like, all the time. Like, it, it, it happens Constantly. just as much. It happens just as much as Overlord. Except it's a little sillier because then they mm -hmm. like do something that's very obviously just a coincidence, and everyone's like, "Oh, I I knew she yeah. had a bigger plan ahead," and it like yeah. completely works with what their story was. And she's like, "Ha ha, yeah, I meant that all along." Yeah. Like last week, yeah. some dude with glasses didn't like thought she made the wrong move, and then he's mm -hmm. like, "I will never forgive myself for doubting you." <laughs> yeah, when when they built the uh, the princess city, mm -hmm. and then the narrator is just constantly like. No, you weren't very far off, dude. Yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a super fun show. I like it a lot. I do like it a lot. That was a it has, show. I mean, it has horse bread. It does have horse bread. Horse, that was a show that bread. I didn't have super high hopes for, but I thought Same. that I would enjoy it, and I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought mm -hmm. that I would. I'm Same. starting to like um like the circumstances of the witch more awesome. and more as I'm watching it. Yeah, uh, at first I was like, it's like it's not bad. It's it's a show. It's a little just goofy, a normal which kind is fine. of show. As I watch it more, I like it. I really like yeah. how the... I think we said this before. How the Phoenix is like a constant character now. I yeah. thought he was a one-off. The Phoenix yeah, he is, is... He's so funny. He's all. Awesome. He's good comic relief. He is great yeah, comic is. relief. Yeah, I like, love him a lot. All the time. I haven't watched today's episode. I'm excited to see I haven't what watched Phoenix... It Next week's the last episode for that, actually. It's kind of sad. That makes me sad. As it had the double episode air for right. the first mm -hmm. one. So, yeah, that next week's when it ends. I like that show a lot. I do too. Really it's fun. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like when the Phoenix was trying to lure the dude out of his room. He was being all nice to him, saying, like, it's rude to do that to people. He said it was just a bad hair day, though. Just a bad hair day. Get the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's me, Fenny Chan. Fenny Chan. Fenny Chan. You shouldn't just call Fenny John out here, dude. He has things he needs to do. And they, like, cuts him. He's, like, getting groceries or something. Like, what the fuck is the thing he's doing getting groceries? I like his uh, voice and design. His he's voice got, awesome. He's, dude. like, two shapes with arms and legs he's, and a beak. Did you, dude, they showed us how to draw him. Yeah. It was epic. <laughs> I like and the then Phoenix. you flip them, you draw them upside down, and you flip them around, and then you add some circles or whatever, and then you have him, and he's there. I was and like, John. fuck, I know how to draw him now. I can, awesome. draw. I can draw the Phoenix everywhere. And oh, I can yeah. put him all over the place. Imagine I just have him hanging up at work. You know what made me, uh, so this made me a little upset. This is my gripe with Shiro Hero this season. This, the dragon arc thing. 
so you remember when the homeboy Red Dragon first ate the ball and went crazy? Yeah. yeah. And they made him like god awful 3D animation. Mm-hmm. Yes. The show has clearly shown with this last episode that they can do really well drawn 2D dragons that look cool. But they made this red one stupid as fuck. I hate him. I cannot stand that red dragon. He does, I haven't he does watched so much. I he hate it. Dumb. The, the I... new dragon that shows up in this episode, he looks badass. And then he was 3D and he looked really good. Yeah, they did 3D fine on him. It's this the red one just looked awful. He looks like an idiot. I don't I don't like I, I don't like one. him at all. I don't either. I was actually gonna bring up I have been actually been very much enjoying this season of Shield Year. I think it's been pretty good. It's so much better. It's I've, so much I've better. loved it. Like this is why this reminded <laughs> me why I loved Shield Hero season mm-hmm. one and why I love this story. Yeah. I like a lot of the new characters they brought in, minus the red dragon. Red Dragger. Red the, Dragger. The first thing I thought of when I saw that dragon was the dragon goes house hunting. And then he left to go house hunt. I really. When are we gonna? When are we gonna sit down and just watch all twelve episodes together in one night of Dragon? You know, my favorite part about that show was the fact that we all dropped it simultaneously on the first episode. Halfway, halfway through the first episode, not a single one of the three of us made it through that first episode. Like I was really excited for it, just because I thought it'd be. It just sounds fun. Yeah, but it was it was so bad. It was so fucking annoying. I yeah. couldn't. I couldn't do it. It was pretty, pretty god awful. I'd feel like bad binging that instead of I something know, we actually want to watch. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it'll never happen. We don't binge shows anymore. That's true. We should binge one when we come back for Christmas. Yeah. All I want. If Alex witness. can stay awake, Alex will fall asleep <laughs> at like nine p.m. and he'll go. I wasn't asleep, guys. I just don't know what happened the last he'll six like, episodes. Like this. Anthony fell asleep last time we watched anime last Friday. Yeah, I did. I watched. I didn't. I watched all of it. I did. I stay up. Yeah. I I stay. I stay watching anime and and anime. You know what I'm saying? (sighs) Anyway. Yeah, we'll have to do that next time. That sounds fun. I can't really think. I mean, like, I don't think there's any other shows that are sleepers this season. Everything else Mm -mm. is just kind of fine. Yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of Stardust Telepath. I think it's all right. It's, Dude, it's fine. The one girl is so mean. Yeah, she's she's kind of pissing me so off. So mean. Mm-hmm. He's really mean to her, and I'm like, damn, I feel really bad. Like she made her fucking cry. Like why yeah, are you like, still friends with this bitch? I'm waiting. The fuck down. Waiting for her to like realize that she's being an asshole and apologize. But like, I thought yeah, it was gonna no. happen last episode. But it yeah, fucking didn't. It, it ain't happening. Yeah, I mean, it's it it's a decent. It's a it's a good show. I think it's fine. I think it's all yeah. right. Mm-hmm. You know what's been fucking good, though? Eminence and Shadow Season 2. Dude. Holy fuck, has that it's been, been good? It's been crazy. It's been awesome. All right, I'm you gonna need say to hop on that show. I'm, I'm going to say it. Delta number one. I'm just going to say Delta, it. Delta, yeah. I'm throwing, I'm throwing it out there. Delta number one. The Delta main and then Alpha. I'm, I'm a Delta all the way. Delta. Delta's awesome. Was she in this week's? No, she I don't wasn't remember. really. Not really, no. no. This was this was him going on his stupid fucking search for himself arc or whatever the hell, and then he got mad yeah, about... Yeah, where, where he killed those robbers that robbed the one cafe lady. Yeah, and then he was like, yeah. oh, her plan's to take over the kingdom. She's getting married. Now I'm angry. And then I like how like, mad he got, though. That was funny. I did, too. I and because he made up his own story for it. Yeah, after and he got they... really pissed. I like how all of them got mad because they're like, we're just going to kill your mom real fast. She's like, don't do that. I don't want you to do that. And they're like, why not? What the fuck you mean, why not? Yeah, Thorpe, you got to hop on that show. It's fucking awesome. I don't know whether to start that next after Madoka or Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, I recommend that over JJK. But I'll probably do it. A, a total I, 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 I would do. I would do Eminence and Shadow first because I would do it's, it's not Shadow. as serious as Jujutsu Kaisen and After Madoka Magic. You're gonna want something not as serious. I was thinking also, if I can put you off here. in supporting Mappa, then I will. That's yeah, true. Fine. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna vow for you to put off supporting Mappa. In Maybe I just won't watch it. I, this season, I'm like. I feel like it's nearing the end of the entire story with how it's been playing out. 
it's fucking really good though dude i'm not gonna like, lie it's fucking it's, awesome. it's really good but i'm just kind of like i'm confused now as to where we're supposed to be in this entire story at all i, I have no clue because i know that no the idea. shibuya incident arc which is what this whole season is mm-hmm. is supposed to be like one of the craziest wildest yeah arcs of the whole story and it has been mm-hmm but they're doing too much that's throwing me off. And I'm like, I don't are we nearing the end or is this just like how it is in the middle for mm-hmm. no reason? I'm not even sure. I don't know how far the manga goes forward or anything. I, I don't either. And that's that's where my downside is. But it feels yeah. like we're reaching the climax of the entire mm-hmm. show just right now. Yeah. And that's not the show's fault. It's more of like the story's fault. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. I don't have a problem with it. I think it's good. Yeah. It'll get misconstrued. I'm sure someone will get mad at me. Like, oh this my god, guy, Jujutsu Kaisen sucks. Jujutsu Kaisen's literally one of the best shows ever. He said it's bad. He said it. Benny, what are you doing? He was stretching. But it's just been one of those things where I've had I've had 50-50 feelings on it recently, and I don't know if it's just with how it's been going or what. Mm-hmm. I don't oh, have fifty no. fifty feelings on one hundred girlfriends and no, really, I don't really, either. really, 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 really hundred percent feelings on one hundred girlfriends. What? How about old Mamoru Kun from uh, Sixteen Bit Sensation? Mamoru Kun, man, that <laughs> show old. You know, Alex, you said the bit of I, I. This is definitely not the most underrated anime ever, but it's definitely the most underrated anime this season. IMO of the season, yeah. Shows, I, I, so. I love that it's show. It's so much fun. It's, it's fucking it's awesome. amazing. Yeah, and it's, no, like it's, it's no one talks about. It's not getting it. any attention. I really wish it was. It's so much fun. I want to know like, what happened you... to Akiba. Why is it normal? Yeah. Why is Mamoru Kun old? Because it's it's because the year is like twenty twenty three. Twenty three year twenty three years into the future. <laughs> well, I can tell you why he's old. I don't know why. Well, yeah, just why? why is Akiba normal? <laughs> I like That's what I, I want to know. I like what it happened. not normal. <clears throat> What yeah, do you we'll mean see. not normal? I like it covered in weeb shit. That's, the That's good normal Akiba. there. That's right. normal, Akiba. Right. I, I don't just... like it. All right. I don't like it not normal. Yeah. That's yeah, better. Yeah, there you go. That's better. That's what I like to see. That's better. Don't, don't call what we do not normal. Who do you think best girl is? I don't think I have one. I don't either. I... I've I put, like, like I love everyone, dude. They're I've awesome. put They're zero awesome. thought into any best girl in that entire show. Yeah, it's kind of like I, when I, I watch. It's kind of like when I watch Shirobako. I didn't really think yeah, of a best it was, girl. It was the I love same. Shirobako. I just kind of watched it and was like, I'm just enjoying every character. I didn't. I don't care who best girl is. Yeah. I'm excited to see how Hulk ends. I'm sad Hulk is coming to an end. I am as well. Hulk's good. I love Hulk. I need to watch Hulk. It's so fucking good. They can go from he's, serious to funny and just make it good. He's he's very handsome. He is. And Pee Wee's epic, but we haven't seen Pee Wee in a while. <laughs> Didn't Pee Wee like get taken or something like I that? I don't know where Pee Wee's at. Oh, he's still I traveling don't... with him because we've been getting a lot of like fighting at like the demon castles and not much Hulk. And then the previous before this was a lot of backstory and Pee Wee wasn't there. He's still traveling I will with the say squad. Asdora, fucking badass. Asdora's badass. He's cool as fuck. He's cool as fuck. Him, he's tight as fuck. <laughs> the dude's tight as fuck. Hey, that, that's that's it. That's all I wanted to say. A girl yeah. in her car dog sucks ass. Yeah, fuck that show. horrible. Fucking the worst show I've ever it's literally seen. Literally the worst one of the season by so much. Probably the year. I would, yeah, I might go the year. I would go the year. It's fucking abysmal. It's bad. Yeah. Don't fucking watch it. I think it's really funny that I've been watching Ragna Crimson and I actually thought about dropping the show after the first episode because of how stupid it was. It's and funny. I, I, I just <laughs> sent something to chat the other day. I was like, I kind of want to watch Ragna Crimson because every time I get on high dive, the picture's right there. Yeah, and I like the red-haired witch girl, and then Luke's like, "That's not a girl," and I was like, "Oh, it's it's a man that's straight up just it, he he is a dragon a that likes to a look dog. like a girl. <laughs> he stretches. Big stretch, buddy. Big stretch. <laughs> Big stretch. There you yeah, go. He, he's a guy that likes to look like a girl for some reason. 
and the main guy is fine. Like he's all right, but Crimson sucks. Every other character just sucks. Man, I was so there disappointed. Was- yeah. There was one super base girl. Her name is Leonica. She's voiced by Inori Mina- uh, Minase, which we all love. She's an amazing mm-hmm. voice actress. She was in for like the first three episodes and hasn't been in since. I don't think she planned. I don't think she ever comes back in the whole series. Right. Uh, th- literally, that character was the only reason I stuck with it past a certain point, and then they got rid of her. And I was like, I guess I'll see how this goes. And now I know it's a 24 episode, or it's not Ooh. even a 12 episode, oh, and I'm kind of. But they introduced a new character, and she's cool, but she'll probably only be in for like two more episodes, and then she'll be gone. Yeah. Rip. Like I don't know, I man. That's cheeks. The, and it's like one main villain. She's just a terrible character overall. Like one of those annoying ones that you hate. Uh, it's it's just not enjoyable. I think it's getting too overrated. I was a little disappointed. It probably is. I mean, it makes like the top ten <clears throat> weekly somehow, and I don't know how. There's mm-hmm. some episodes where I'm like, okay, I can kind of get it, but there's so many more episodes of it that I'm like, this sucks, dude. I dr- I dread watching that show weekly. That's, I hate when there's a show that I don't look forward to watching. There's been sucks. like, I I don't like dread watching multiple this season but there's someone just like man i'm just not feeling that like stardust telepathy is usually one of them mm-hmm. a girl in her my gar- whole month a whole, gar- girl whole her mondays gar- are honestly what comes out mondays it's shy uh, and stardust telepath i just i'm not really I into either of them. i don't mind shy i think it's i think it's all right I, like i don't mind it but i'm just not really into it i like shy. So i'm like i get excited that's like one of the first shows i watch when i can on mondays I'm pretty. I'm. I'm also kind of iffy on shy. I don't like hate it or anything. I don't. No, I don't. I'm not going to say I'm it's just, bad. Just not. It's not my. It didn't draw me jam. in. I think yeah. that's that's the issue was. I like it a lot. I like the characters. I mean, it's yeah. better than f- anything. Is better than a girl in her car, dog. Yeah, as long as yes, we can all agree on that, yeah, I don't can, care. Yeah. Anybody's yeah, can. opinion can be whatever. That show yeah. fucking that blows. shows misery. That show doesn't even... It's not even animated. It's not. It is no, like... No, it's like pictures on a fucking PowerPoint. It's like a shitty stop motion with Legos yeah. that some kid made in 2008. Terrible. This week, did you notice they did the they did like a flashback of her being kidnapped literally from the week before this week's episode? And she like started running towards what's-his-fucking-face, and then they flipped the camera angle, and she was just standing still and then ran at him again. It's like, what the fuck <laughs> is going on? I, I can't remember what it's studio bad. made that. Uh, I'm gonna see what else they made. Has not made a lot of good things, or did not get enough money to make this. Uh, there it is. I want to see what else they made. Uh, project number nine. I feel like I've heard of them before. They've done good shows. They've done like plenty of good shows. Oh yeah, they're they've got vexations. They did. Uh, is this? They I did. got rejected and shaved my beard. <clears throat> yeah, they have the Angel Next uh, Door. Shit, they've and, done a lot. I think that's they did Tomozaki. Tomozaki. Uh, wow. san <laughs> My tiny or my senpai is annoying. No, it's my tiny senpai. My tiny senpai. There's too many tinies and senpais coming out soon. Uh, we Mich- should watch Rokubo. Rokubu. I want to watch Rokubu. They have Rokubu SS. Oh, uh, dude, you know what else? Oh, they're they doing have the pig Vanessa? show. Amagami. Wow. You know, you know, Alex. Out of Ah uh, to Magami SS. Ah, <laughs> uh, Ensign Magami SS. Yeah, that is like one of their lowest rated shows on the entire thing. For mm-hmm. good fucking reason, it's. Abysmal. I'm pretty sure the rest is just hentai down there. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Like, I think that's hentai. Wait, they did, like, why, did, why is there hentai down here? What is Momo Kune's sword? Hmm. Not very good. Yeah, it's I just guess. bad. Don't watch it's, it. It's Garbage. just bad. Garbage. And weird. Oh yeah, my weird. god. It all makes sense now. Why? Here's this TV special for Super X Heroes. Oh, Jesus. They made Super it, X Heroes? 
I don't know if they made the whole thing. They at least did whatever the TV special was for it. That show uh, holds a special place in my heart. Not for it being of good. Hate. That, of hate. And me thinking for the longest time that it was World's End Era. Yeah. I, I don't know how. I don't I know either. I don't either. Absolutely no clue how you thought that was World's End Era. I don't either. I would have understood if you thought it was the Hidden Poggers Only I Could Champ or whatever the fuck that show yeah, is it was called. the Hidden Poggers Only I Can Champ. Yeah, yeah. I could understand that because that show is basically just as shitty as the Hidden One. I'm about At out least... there. I gotta go to the bathroom. Just yeah, I'm sure piss. you do, buddy. Yeah, yep. Piss boy. Body. Piss boy, piss boy, piss boy. Alright, we, we should probably, we should call it. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Luke, what do you have to say? Sencha, please marry me. Bow, bow, bow. Is that your announcement for the week, Anthony? Um, if you this know anyone, a free bow cast. <laughs> <laughs> free bow cast. If you know anyone named Michael, call him a mother fluffer. Yeah, all Michael. It, especially, for the specifically day. if he had his dishwasher delivered yeah. to the wrong house and mm. installed. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, tell Michael he's a mother fluffer. How do you know it got installed in the wrong house? I don't think he does. I don't, I don't think he, he does. Probably, he probably just made that up. He got delivered and installed. How'd you know? Did you go over and check? He went. Maybe he got an email. Yeah, dude, I gotta go. I, uh... I got my dishwasher installed wrong. <laughs> All right. Without further ado, guys, that's the end of the today's episode of the Hello Harm podcast. If you found anything interesting, funny, or informative, leave a comment down below. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell and leave a like so you guys are informed on every single new podcast episode that comes out. And if you haven't already, we have a Discord link in the description below that you can join and chat with the Hello Harm homies whenever you want about anything, almost anything. But that is the end of today's episode, guys. We'll see you next week for another one of uh, whatever the hell we're talking about. Now. So we'll see ya. Bye. Bye.